What's up guys, it's Ace the Third, welcome back to the Undefeatable series, the series where I keep going and going with the character until I lose. Now today we're going to be using a character that actually is, uh, well, I don't know, it's funny because this character is good, but you never see this character, and I think the reason for that is because this character has a really low skill floor, and what I mean when I say that is that uh, this character is not that hard to use, and that character is Pit. <clears throat> Pit's not really that difficult to actually use. Um, perfecting him can be a problem. Um, but getting into pit is definitely not a uh, not a chore. So, say for instance you're trying to get somebody into Smash Bros. You know, usually the first character you say that uh, they should try out is Mario. But I feel like characters actually should be uh, should be pit because pit is definitely a jack of all trades. Like he is a really all around character, honestly. Like he's not like super good or super bad at anything. Uh, I mean, except recovery. Recovery is excellent, but everything else, including like his speed, his defense. Um, you know, like I said, difficulty, everything like that. It's, it's not, it's just, it's just it's pretty good. I like it. Anyway, we have a fan. Hello, player nine. Very nice to meet you. Make sure you comment below, um, so I know who exactly you are, uh, because that'd be really nice to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, meet you. Okay. Oh, whoa, that is not what I meant to do at all. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Uh, that is not an arrow, Ace. Down there a lot, and I see what we have now. Okay. Are you going to, and then are you going to smash attack? Roll into me. Okay. Man, Pits 4 Smash is amazing. I love it. Among the best in the game, in my opinion. Um, I notice a ton of smash attacks. And if you do that too often, all I need to do is just shield, you know? If I realize that, oh, this guy always comes down to the ground, rolls into me, and does, like, a, a smash attack, then all I need to do is just wait wait there and shield, and then punish you upon you hitting my shield. Um, so that's really all I need to do uh, in order to uh, counteract that. So what I recommend is mixing up a little bit, not doing so many smash attacks. I know that Peach's down smash is very good. But you just can't spam it over and over again. It's it's not it's not that good. It's not melee. <laughs> but even in melee, like you couldn't just do that. Like you had to calculate your down smashes a bit. Um, and in this game, you had to do that even more so. Okay, we'll see. You have Mario. Ace using a lot of dash attacks. Yes, because the piss dash attack is amazing. <laughs> I, I, I would be amazed at how much better a lot of characters would become if they had a uh, pit sound smash. 
did he not get shield grab? Whatever. Yeah, you do it a lot. You come down to the ground with a down air like a lot. And you roll in a lot, so I know what to do next time. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do next time. <laughs> You're fishing for that kill. Notice something? I'm walking a lot. Hey, it's why are you walking? Hey, you don't have to run all the time. You don't really have to run all the time. If you run a lot, then you're limiting your options. Sometimes you don't need to, you don't need to run. This walking will suffice. After a while, it's kind of like, oh, he's just gonna roll into me. So that's I can just do that. <laughs> it's actually the second time you've been punished for it, so I would recommend not doing it so often. If you do it enough to the point where you get punished for it twice, then it's a problem. Um, especially when you get killed for it twice. I mean, that's kind of a it's kind of a whole sure sign right there that you're doing it too often, and you should try something else instead. Okay. Uh, this is the last time we're going to play with Player 9. Um, let's see what he does differently this time. Mix it up! Hurry up and mix it up! Put it in the blender and just... Mix it up. Okay, we got Roy. Alright, let's see what you're going to do. Can I give him space? I cannot give uh, Roy any space. Can I give him time to calculate his movements? Excuse me. <laughs> I 
that is it. Okay. Well, good games, Nate. Or Player 9. It was pretty fun. Um, your habit is rolling in too much. Um, you go for a lot of smash attacks, so what I'm assuming that you do is that you roll and then you immediately flick your C-stick. Um, that's something that you're gonna have to get out, out of the habit of, because somebody like, uh, anyone really could just realize that, oh, if he's just going to roll, hit C-stick, or grab, then all I need to do is just wait for him to roll in, and then I can just punish him whenever I want to, you know? So don't be obvious like that, I would mix up a little bit more. So anyway, um, thank you so much for playing, uh, GGS, and goodbye. Yeah, work on that, okay? It's very important. Um, I feel that a lot of people, uh, flick a lot in this game. Like, they flick their, uh, control stick a lot. Um, and you really, I mean, sometimes yes, but you can't just always flick your stick sometimes, especially when it comes to movement, um, and when your C stick is so prone to doing things that are so laggy, uh, when you have your, uh, C stick set to smash. What I mean is, like, you're so quick to flick the C stick like that, but it can put you in such a bad position, you know what I'm saying? And I know it's quick, I know it's quick access, but you have to get out of the habit of just all the time, you know? All right, let's see. We got Bowser Jr. You're rare to see. Okay. There we go. Okay. Sorry about hitting you. Bowser Jr. is intimidating. <laughs> like, because if they're good, they really do actually scare me. That's what you can do. Um, when you see an item, like a Diddy's Banana or Bowser Jr.'s Becca Koopa, you can actually air dodge on top of it and steal it! Like that! Good job not air dodging. Very high damaging uh, job. See how it's worked each time. No. Wow, that was really uh, accurate. Why is this song so good? Why is this song so good? It's like the first time I heard it, I kind of like I got emotional. I was like, this sounds so good. I want to play Fire Emblem Awakening so I can experience this for the first time. It wasn't necessarily easy. It wasn't necessarily easy. I wouldn't say that. Eh, yeah, that wasn't easy at all, actually. Well, it was it was medium. It's kind of medium. Okay, let's see. Let's be... Ah, this is the best color. I can't get over red. It's so good. Red is so good. Ace! Zyad! How you doing? <laughs> Zyad, what on earth are you doing here? This is the third time we've been on the stage. What is this? 
Can you go away? Like, <laughs> this woman in the background, like, hello? Ace, you. 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 Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Zyde. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you comment also so that I can uh, know who you are and uh, try to help you out with your habits, too. Um, I will definitely try my best to look out for these immediately. Okay. Um, or throughout the pace of the match. Okay. Good thing you started off with a Mecha Koopa. That's uh, probably the most important thing I recommend doing. Um, Mecha Koopa already adds like a little bit of pressure in the match for a start. You come to the ground a lot with uh, forward air. And that's not necessarily the best thing to do. Um, it has quite a bit of landing lag on it, so I can easily punish you like how I just did just now. So make sure you don't come to the ground too often with it, uh, unless you are certain that it's going to hit me, okay? Yeah. See how each time you come to the ground with that, uh, it's been unsafe? Because to me, that's just a free punish, you know? Or to anyone, really. that one. I don't know about that one. That was kind of reckless. I wouldn't have done that one. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're coming down to the ground with uh, those uh, those forward airs and back airs too much. And if any of his aerials, except maybe uh, up air, you should not come to the ground with it. And even then, up air never hits, so you shouldn't really come to the ground with anything. Um, did I die? I am dead. That's too much rage. See, okay, that was a good forward air because it hit me. Yeah, you can't do that too often. What I recommend doing with Bowser Jr. is getting away from me, using your clown cart and your up B to mix up your landings. You don't really want to land next to somebody as you're, when you're Bowser Jr. Um, the reason being for that is because you don't have like a really fast grab, and the fastest thing you can do is like forward tilt or jab. Um, I mean, you could down tilt too, uh, but you have to make sure you're facing the opponent when you do that. Um, so I would recommend, Zayat, that you... Uh, try your best not to land next to me, because um, I'm going to be chasing you because I'm pit. Um, make sure you try to get away from me so that I uh, can't punish you as effectively, and perhaps I could give you some time to set up a, a Mecha Koopa, uh, which will heavily increase uh, the amount of pressure that you'll add uh, to neutral. So, let's keep on going. Uh, Bowser Jr. And this is the last match, too, so uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay. I wasn't sure he was going to taunt or not, so I angled it upwards. Okay, uh, you could have followed up with a forwarder there. Don't do Mecha Koopa too close, okay? Um, if you do that one, um, that'd be detrimental to you because uh, there's a lot of uh, cooldown when it comes to releasing a Mecha Koopa, so you don't want to do that too often when uh, something close to you. Oh, that was bad. Ace, can you preemptively do that? This song is so good. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, people are like, hey, if you play Xenoblade, you wouldn't like this song. I wonder why. Thank you. 
God damn it, why do I keep getting hit by those? Whoa, that was dangerous for you not to a shield, dude. That was excellent bait right there. Because you did your down, uh, your back air so close to the ground, the animation canceled. Um, which made it, uh, which made me think that, oh my gosh, uh, he's gonna do a back air, which means I can go punish him. But you went for a forward tilt directly afterwards. So that was very nice. Excellent bait. The good thing to do with Bowser Jr. And that, a lot of nice players do that. They'll go to the ground with their uh, down air right before they're gonna touch the ground, and it'll make the sound of the down air, but they won't actually like execute it. And so it's good bait to do, uh, cause uh, then people are gonna like try to punish him for it. Um, but Ness just goes ahead and grabs them or does whatever he wants to do. Oh, nice forward to it. Mm, yeah, you gotta pay attention. Like you could have definitely avoided that one because uh, I was sitting there charging it. You weren't paying attention to me. Um, you're, I think you're only paying attention to yourself just now. Um, next time, if you see something like that, well, just pay attention to all of what's going on. Bowser Jr. and a, a lot of other characters that have a lot of items, um, you guys should be paying attention to the stage, like, a lot. Um, the stage, a character I'd say that uh, depends the most on that is definitely Rosalina, but um, with other characters too, um, you want to pay attention to everything that's going on. Um, like, this is with all characters, um, but mostly with characters with items. Um, make sure you pay attention to things, uh, if you were paying attention, you probably wouldn't have gotten hit by that, and you've had time to react to it, but, um, make sure you try that out, okay? Anyway, good games, uh, thank you guys, or uh, thank you so much for joining me, Zyad, uh, thank you, GGS, and goodbye. Okay, <clears throat> make sure you comment again, by the way, so I know who you are. So, uh, you and the first guy, please comment. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of third. If you like the Undefeatable series, go and click the subscribe button. If you like the, uh, video, give a like rating. If you have any tips for pick, go and leave some in the comments below. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, make sure you check out the pit forums, and make sure you follow me on Twitter. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you each have a very, very wonderful day, and goodbye.